I love the ship designer in Starfield, but there's one thing that has always been really bugging about the system. The biggest problem in my eyes is the doorway placement and layouts in a ship, as well as the ladder placement. And I thought, what if we could build a ship without ladders? How would that look and how would we do that? Well, that's exactly what we've done today. And I must admit, this is my favorite ship layout to date. And the great thing about this is anyone can do it and you can have up to two levels on your ship without ladders. So first off, I thought I should show you the ship layout itself so that you can see what we're going to be doing. And then I'm going to be talking about how you can do it and make it so that your ship is all on one level or two and also has looping corridors, which we couldn't do before and was driving me insane. So let's jump into it and we'll give you a little tour of it. Probably the powerfulest ship that I've done to date. It is a C-Class ship, so if you would like me to do a build video on this, do let me know and maybe we'll cover that next. But we open to the dock here. This is also the bay area and we're able to walk in. So I did lie, there is a ladder here, but this opens up to our armory where we can grab our weapons ready for boarding and our equipment. And then to the left, we have a little storage area which leads to a battle station and then we also have on the right hand side a another storage area and this time it's with a i think the all-in-one berth it's one of the 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 living areas this proceeds to another storage area and we have the same opposite this and as you can see, this loops back into the battle stations. So that is pretty interesting in itself. But we also have a through line from the very back of the ship through this control station area to our bridge. Now, this is one particular bridge which you can find. And if you use this, we have stairs. And this works really well if you're wanting to do a second level. For example, here I've just put the captain's quarters. So with that layout in mind, let's break down how we've done it and the pieces that you're going to need for it. And here we are at the landing pad at one of my outposts, and this is the trident that we're looking at here. Now, for this build, you do need some specialist parts. If we look, for example, with this bridge we'll talk about shortly, if we go over to the cockpits, You'll notice that we have the DS-10, we also have the Armstrong-10, the Magellan and the Viking and Samurai cockpits, but we don't have access to the others. So it's really important that we find specialist parts in order for us to build this no ladder uh, looping system and layout. And for this, we will need to find some other unique pieces to connect our ship's habs together. We can find some at New Homestead on Titan, as well as Hope Tech place on Polvo, I want to say this. We'll find them in, in a short moment. But they're going to provide us with horizontal passage pieces and spine pieces that will help us with this layout. The Novatech shipyards or Nova Galactic, I may have got that wrong, is over in Seoul. You're going to want to either go to, I believe Mars has it, but I know for definite that New Homestead on Titan has the Nova Galactic um, parts available there. Once you're on Titan, head towards the ship services tech. And if we go to the ship builder here, you'll notice that if we open up the cockpits, we now have the Cabot C3 bridge. I will actually check that this is available at lower levels. Here you can see that we do have access to the Cabot C3 bridge at level 14. So you can get it pretty early on, if not straight away. And what's important about this is it has the multiple floors. So if you are wanting to do a multiple floor ship, then this is what you're going to need if you're not wanting to use the ladders. The other thing that you need to be aware of are the spine or 
horizontal passageways. So here, if we check the hab, you can see that we have access to the normal pieces as well as some other ones. But more importantly, we have the cross passage here. Now, this is a really interesting piece because when you place these down, it seems to force a connection with the next piece. So if we have a Nova Galactic storeroom and we had these two pieces here, we can guarantee that this piece here and this piece here are both going to be open or, or doorways. Unfortunately, this only works horizontal at this point. So what you really need to do is find a spine piece, and I've only found them at one place, and that's Hopetown. Hopetown can be found in the Valo system, and it will be located on Polvo. You can speak to this technician or the one inside, and you'll notice that here we have access in the HAB section, the fuselage, which you can use, or the Hope Tech Hab Spine. So this allows for connections along the spine of the ship. And this can be connected alongside either the Nova Galactic passageways or with the Hope Bracer. And so if we find ourselves building a companionway, we can guarantee that this is going to be an entrance and if we place this here this is going to be an entrance as well this makes it very powerful when building ship layouts to give you an example if we take our hope tech companionway here we can place this wherever we want really but we'll place it here and we're going to add ourselves a hope tech spine piece And we're also going to add ourselves, and we're also going to add the hab cross brace as well. So in this section, we can guarantee that all of these entrances here are going to be open. And we'll test this really quickly. So here we have a series of spines connected to the braces and in between which we have the companionways. So we're going to jump into the ship now and see how it looks. If done correctly, we will have entrances either side and behind us, as you can see here, and we'll be able to run through in a loop. So now that we're back at the ship designer, we need to find a landing bay, which has, you see this little triangle here, like this is an entrance way. We want one on the back end. You'll notice that beneath here we have the Tayo Bay, and this has its entrance over on the back um, port here, or the front port, whichever way you look at it. So what I'm going to do now is head back over to the Slipstream. If you are looking for ship inspiration, do check out some of my build videos. We have the star lord already created this is an awesome a-class ship and we also built the republic cruiser the radiant 7 from star wars so if you're interested in checking that video out i'll put a link above now and we also created the serenity so you may enjoy them as inspiration anyway let's build this slipstream so for this demonstration we're not going to worry about the back end of the ship this is this provides everything we need in order to, to quickly have an operational ship. So we'll only worry about the HABs. You can see that we've grabbed the Cabot Bridge from Nova Galactic and plenty of spine pieces. However, we do not want this landing bay. So the first thing for us to do is to find a landing bay which has a connection where we need it. If we look down here, this little triangle on this piece is a connection, an access point. So you'll see, unfortunately here, this will not connect even if we have a round piece like this. So with that in mind, we have two options if we want it all on one level. We have the Stroud piece, which you can see is horizontal. We can flip this either side. Perhaps, maybe we'll, yeah, why not? Let's go with that for this one. The other option is the ship B 
bed which you have here and you can flip this so that you can have it facing the back or the front. Obviously if you want it all on one level, generally speaking you're going to want it on the back because you'll have your cockpit in the front. But knowing that we've got this here, we can place, for example, an armory here and we know that this connection and this connection are going to be forced door doorways. However, we cannot guarantee that this will be a doorway if we have a two-piece on top. And that's because we also have access points here. So instead, what we need to do, wherever we want doorways, is to place our spine. Let's place two, for example, here followed by the piece that we want, which can be this. If you want something along the side, we'll have to use our horizontal pieces. Let's do that here. And then we'll connect this up like so. And we'll do the same on the other side for this example. And here we can guarantee that our layout will be the landing bay to our armory. And then we'll have access to the bridge and at the other end of the armory, we'll also have three access points. One going to the directly to the ships at uh, the captain's quarters. Right. Let's change that for an engineering bay. So it makes more sense. And then either side of the engineering bay, as well as either side of the armory, we'll have access to the Hope Tech computer core and the control station. However, there is a possibility that this section here will be a wall. So in order to counter that, we're also going to have to add more spine pieces in between. This should guarantee that we have access to all of these without any blockages. If you want to place another piece on here, perhaps we want the, the captain's quarters, you do not want to place this here because these have access points underneath and above. And so there's a chance that these are going to become ladders. So instead, taking note of our hab spine here, if we look, there are only access points at the two ends, the top end and the bottom end here, which means that there aren't going to be any forced or unforced connections on the top or bottom. So with this, we can have this here, followed by our captain's quarters. Or if you want, an all-in-one berth, followed by the captain's quarters. So one of these will be an access point to the captain's quarters. And on the other side, we can also have the living quarters for the rest of our crew. And so now we've forced it so that there will be potentially one connection here, one here. These will be closed off, or vice versa, but we'll have full access below, and our connection is going to be through the, the bridge rather than any connections via a ladder. Now at this point we have quite an interesting layout for the top of the deck, but we can play around with this more. So if we didn't want to risk these being connected, we could have our captain's quarter back over the top of a cross brace or even another spine piece because there's no access point they're not going to be force connected and from here we could replace our all-in-one berth with a companionway we could place maybe an infirmary just here and at this point, we have access only to the companionway. So by placing these either side, we can guarantee that there's going to be a doorway here, 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 and here. And possibly these two will be doorways or they'll be open. So that is how you create a layout. And we'll just confirm really quickly for you. And here we are. I've just fixed it up a little bit so that it's working. We had to jiggle some pieces about, but let's go check it out the inside now. You can see we have access to our ship from the side. And from here, we should be able to enter the cockpit from the left, which we'll go to shortly. 
and we also have access to the rest of the interior downstairs through here and you can see how this is all nicely connected have the engineering at the back and there are no ladders whatsoever which makes this in my eyes the perfect way to set up a ship next let's check the upstairs oh i like how this armory also has a brig that's pretty cool i think that's the hope tech one so we have our bridge here and if we go through the back we'll notice that we have a long spine all the way to this uh, companionway here we have access to the docker that's where i ended up placing it and also to the left and the right we have our infirmary and also our living space so this is the infer oh no this is the it's the living space and we have oh no i think this is the living space this is the all-in-one, I want to say. Then across here, we have access to the infirmary and our captain's quarters just at the end here. So there you go, a ship without any ladders, bar the docker. But there we are, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you found it helpful, please do hit the thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my content, make sure to subscribe. But we're going to leave it there. Special thanks does go to all of our amazing supporters on Patreon. Most notably, our Solo Eclipse Patrons, James Irwin, Fireflesser, and Trebor, as well as the, our Lunar Eclipse Patrons, The Calamity, Ben, Star, and That Dude AW, as well as our Blood Moon of the Day, which today is Deuce. Until next time, ciao for now.